Well, hi, my name is Larry Gust. I'm the president of the board of directors of the International Institute for Building Biology and Ecology. And I am a teacher on the faculty at the Institute. And I've been a full-time practicing building biologist since 1993. I'd like to take the opportunity over some of these video clips to share with you some of the things that I've learned in inspecting homes like yours over the last 14 or 15 years. Today, I'd like to take a look at creating a nursery with uh, low pollution from electromagnetic radiation. This is important because scientific studies have shown that having electromagnetic radiation in your sleeping place causes undue stress during sleeping, prevents healing and repair of the body, and leads to you waking up feeling tired and unrested. Scientific observation made by building biologists like me over the last 30 years have shown that the reduction or elimination of electromagnetic radiation in the indoor environment and the sleeping space results in people getting up feeling more rusted in the morning. They uh, find themselves healing more rapidly, and they find that uh, medical conditions that have defied resolution actually become resolved. This is uh, particularly important when it comes to the environment that you have for your baby in your nursery. Babies are much more susceptible to stresses because their environment, their, their immune system is not uh, well developed when they're young, and so they respond less favorably to polluted circumstances. Electromagnetic radiation is something which is generated from several sources. First, the wiring in the house generate electric and magnetic fields, which invade the sleeping space, causing uh, undue stress on the body. There are also radiations from communication devices, like uh, cellular telephones, which are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week when you have them at home communicating with the tower every few minutes. There's also cordless telephones, which are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether you use them or not. They're filling up your living space with electromagnetic communications radiation. This is a similar set of circumstances for uh, wireless internet connections, which uh, even though you're not using the computer, are on radiating throughout the house 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So. These are some of the items that we need to do something about. And on top of that, we find that people who have young children, babies, like to put wireless baby monitors into their nurseries. And these monitors create electromagnetic radiation, which is filling the nursery with energies that ought not to be there. So. What can you do about this? What can you do about this today when you finish watching this video clip? Well, you can eliminate the, the wireless baby monitor. Mothers got along just fine without such a device for many, many hundreds of years. You can eliminate all the extension cords <clears throat> that are within five feet of the baby's crib. You can eliminate all the electrical devices that would be within five feet of the baby's crib. I'm talking about your uh, radio, lamps, any type of uh, uh, device that you might have for lulling the baby to sleep, unless it's battery operated, clocks, clock radios, that sort of thing. And in particular, we want you to eliminate uh, uh, the uh, power devices for electronics. This is like the charger for your cell phone and for other types of electronics. These should not be plugged in near the baby's crib. We also would like you to uh, take a look at the rooms that are on either side uh, of the wall uh, where the baby's crib is located to make sure you don't have any devices that are producing high magnetic fields, things like the refrigerator, uh, stereo equipment, the television, which doesn't turn off really when you turn it off. It's still radiating some types of electromagnetic radiation. The baby's crib needs to be moved away from a wall that has these devices, or if you can, you need to move those devices away from the wall. Uh, so that you're not irradiating the baby. I want to make sure that if you have a second floor bedroom, there's no fluorescent lights uh, that are below the baby's crib, because those lights give off 
magnetic fields that permeate the area above the fluorescent light. You should either have them off or not have them at all below the area where the baby is sleeping. We want you to uh, eliminate from your house all cordless telephones. Those are the kind that are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We want you to eliminate wireless interconnect connections from your house. You can hardwire your computers to the internet without having to transmit data through the air. We want you to call forward your cell phone when you're home to your landline and then turn your cell phone off so it's not irradiating the house every few minutes while it communicates with the local cell phone tower telling it where you are. So those are some of the things that would help dramatically in reducing the level of electromagnetic radiation pollution in your uh, baby's nursery. And it's actually quite uh, uh, smart to apply these sorts of things to your own sleeping environment and your older children's sleeping environment as well. More on other factors that need to be controlled in the baby's environment in another video clip. It's been good talking to you. Talk to you soon.